Hi and welcome to maybe the only um, tutorial to make free ringtones for your iPhone you'll probably ever see. I might be mistaken, I know I ain't the only one out here doing it. But this is how we do it. You open up iTunes, you choose the song that you want. Um let's see. I'm gonna let me see. I'm gonna choose this one. It's an up sound thing, nigga. Okay, I want to do that. Now I'm going to choose a start point and an ending point. You right click on the on the track that you want, and you go get info. Then you're going to come up with this window over here. Click on options, start time. Say I wanted to start right from the beginning and I wanted to stop 40 seconds into the song so I'll go 40 right there take that 3 out put a 0 and take that and even it all out see how I change all those numbers there so it's going to start at this regular starting time and 40 seconds now you can edit the start time wherever you want it to be but in this case I'm going to do it like this just to make it easier on explaining and you hit OK now when you double click the song now, it'll go only 40 seconds. See how the song reads that it's got 3 minutes and 53 seconds until it's over? Then it'll stop at 40 seconds. Or it'll fade into the next song. Uh, I'm gonna speed this up a little bit. Alright, now watch. You see how it's stopping? Yeah, I got this, the fade away mode. So stop that. Now, I right click on it again now that I got it set to 40 seconds and create AAC version and then you see over here it's gonna say converting and right under the original file you're gonna get uptown thing which is the name of the song but it's 40 seconds long now I double click that okay it's, it's 40 seconds long and it's not gonna go any farther than that you see it's set time okay now what you do is you go and you choose that file you right click it again and you show in Windows Explorer then you should get it in a window over here as soon as you get it in that window you want to click on that song to edit it edit the tag and you change the format from M4A you delete the A and just put an R see how I did that how it's M4R now and then you just you go to set it. Now Windows is going to tell you if you change a file name extension the file may become unusable are you sure you want to change it? You're going to hit enter or just click the yes and then now this file is officially a ringtone file but iTunes doesn't know that yet because I haven't told it yet so now I'm going to cut it out of this folder I'm going to put it into another folder that I have labeled as ringtones because it's easier for me to manage my ringtones if I put them into a folder just for my ringtones. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it from the other folder that I'm pasting it in here. I got hometown thing right there. You see? Now I double click it and it'll play in iTunes. It's a but now it's in my ringtones list. Now all I gotta do is sync my uh, iPhone and I can use this ringtone whenever I please. It will be accessible to me and it was completely free. Okay, so I hope you guys learned something and uh, you guys enjoy your new ringtones.